Let's take a quick look at in-browser editing in Adobe Muse. As a web designer, I've gone in and designed a website, this wildisles.com website. It's finished, and I've published it to the Adobe Business Catalyst platform. At this stage, I would like to be free to go work on other designs and allow the owner of the website, my client, to be able to edit content as time goes by. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and switch over into Muse. Um, the first thing I need to do is make sure I enable the ability to edit the site content. So if I pull down on File, the Site Properties, I'm going to go ahead and check this Enable In-Browser Editing checkbox and publish the site to the hosting provider. Once I've done that, I can click on the Manage button within Muse or go to any web browser and type in the URL of the site and log in as an administrator. Now, my business owner wants to be able to edit content over time on the site, so I've given her a login and password that she can use to come in and edit the site. What she'll do as she comes into the dashboard of the website is she's going to click on the Edit button, which is going to bring up an editable instance of the website in the browser. So as she works here, she wants to make a few edits to the site. I'm going to go ahead and scroll along. You'll notice that I have a slideshow here on the landing page. I can hover over certain aspects of that slideshow to make my edits. So notice as I hover over the $25 off area, I'm going to come in and actually lower the price or actually lower the, raise the discount a little bit to $50 off. And I'll click the Update button. I'd like to also come in into this June offer here. And instead of $125, I'll change it to be a $150 discount for the month of April. Once again, I'll click Update. And I can actually observe the changes have been made in the site. I'll go ahead and hit the Publish button, which updates the live site with the changes that I've made. I'm going to scroll down now and actually navigate to another page in the site. I'll scroll down now into this area, and I'd like to update this photo, so I'll click Edit. I can choose a photo from the site, so a photo that's already been uploaded to the site, or I can actually browse from my computer to a particular location where I have that image available. Notice how the image has changed to the one that I've just placed. I'll go ahead and click Update. Muse is going to upload that image to the hosting provider, to Business Catalyst. The image will update there, and I'll go ahead and publish. So all of those changes are now live on the site. Let's say a month from now, I as a designer am asked to go back into the site and make some different changes, maybe add some new pages, add some new graphic elements. In order to make sure that my Muse file is in sync with the live site on the web, I just pull down under File to sync with Adobe Business Catalyst site. Muse is going to then look to the live version of the site and bring up a, a list of changes that have happened since the last time I published. So I can see here in the Review and Merge Changes window, I can click on the preview page, which will show me the new image as compared to the old image. I have the ability to go ahead and merge it into Muse if I choose to. Or if I don't like a change, if I see a mistake that the business owner may have made, I can actually choose to not merge or skip a change. I'll go ahead and make some of these changes to the pricing and such. And then I'll click the Done button. It's that simple. So now that the changes have been made, I can save out my Muse file. And the next time I design, I'll take those changes forward. I can add new pages and new content and publish the entire site up to the hosting platform again. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to give it a try.